And yep, I'm recording now. You're not Hello. recording yet. It's your boy Kingston the WV Dinner, but how the are you doing today? Oh my gosh! I finally got him on here, guys. <laughs> it's about time. Oh, finally. I finally managed to drag him into one of my terrible productions. Literally has terrible opinions. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, my ping Wait. sucks. Um, there's something wrong with the ping. No, my my ping just sucks. It's not it's not that big of a deal. Oh, it's terrible. That's yeah. Right. So how are you doing? How is how is life? How are y'all doing? How y'all how are y'all doing? How is your pet rock? How is he doing? Um, uh, my pet rock, my pet rock is actually doing very good. He's just, you know, chilling out in the night, hoping not to uh, get freaking eaten by predators or something like that. Yeah, I mean, the life of a rock is very difficult. I've been doing okay. I forgot I was in. Uh, I forgot I was in creative mode. So yeah. You wanna know something? What's up? Um, today I just did, I I watched the Flip Thirty uh wait, Flip Thirty Two review. Oh no! Because I, I just really uh just love watching the reviews, and I just went straight to the point where it says loading the Flip Thirty Two with <laughs> Tesla. And then it's so freaking funny, man. <laughs> like, man, like I I wanna you know what I wanna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and make up my own stories now. You should. I mean, I actually do that one day. Like when I see a blaster that's tedious to load, I might actually do that too. I mean, that is it, loading really tedious blasters is the most fun part about reviews. It so because most of the blasters have gotten pretty efficient when it comes to loading, but there are still those few that are just Looney Tune in the amount of time it takes to load. Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm loading me Nef Elite 2.0 Flip 32. What is that guys, accent? I found a rock that literally oh just gosh. got stolen by somebody and it got painted up. What the? <laughs> what the heck? Um, I'm just trying to make some. I'm just trying to make some of the most nonsensical freaking stories yet. That makes sense to me. It's like. Here's my favorite story. Once upon a time, ten years ago, I walked into a bar. Next to the bar, next to me in the bar, there was a long shot. And the long shot said, don't worry, in five or so years I'm going to be a really good blaster. They're going to fix me up. Five years later, I found that long shot almost dead in a ditch. Because all of the other blasters, such as the long strike and the centurion, showed up and said, NO! You're not going to be anything better than what you are right now. And if you are, it's going to be something worse. And then he said, oh, that's not true. I'm going to be something, I promise. And, and then the icon long shot got made, and all of the long shot's dreams died. I got a story for you. Happy endings for everybody. Once upon a time, Nerf made the alpha strike line. Oh, POV, no. the best Nerf line ever. Like, I, I know, you know, the blasters are just very cheap. But hey, that's good for little kids, cause you know. Oh yeah, because then they don't have then children freaking... then children can break them at two times the speed. Yeah, baby, Alpha Strike is the best Nerf series. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! I love doing this. <laughs> there is something. Um, yeah. What? <laughs> uh. There is something that um, has been uh, occurring uh, to me lately more and more when it comes to my videos, and that is the kind of random structure that they have. Because I mean, I I have a I have a pretty set structure, but it is also kind of random. Although at the same time, that's just because blasters are random when it comes to talking about them. Yeah, they they are. Also, W videos. They're so fun to watch. I'm glad you have so much fun watching my videos. What do you like about them in particular? Is it by innate ramblings or no, what? Just, just the fact that, like, like, dude. Uh, I'm trying to explain. Just, like, the way you talk about it, we put a lot of information 
which is good while also keeping things entertaining at the same time because you want to make sure your videos are like very informative but you want to also make sure they're entertaining like Coop772 is very good but he's kind of lacking you know the fun part about his professional review. He's not really entertaining. Some, some reviewers like Walcom S7 and you are the like the, you they're, they're the definitions of what I'm talking about. I mean, Walcom S7 has all has always been very passionate about his view on Nerf. I've just been very passionate about so. my view on Earth. Earth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going into full geography talk now. No. We've both been very passionate about our view on the nerfing hobby, so it just makes sense that, like, we would want to go into more detail about the things that we like and the things that we don't like. Plus, I love making stupid jokes whenever I get the chance. If I ever become a dad, it's be it's going to be for the dad jokes and nothing else. Story to become continued. After Nerf made the Alpha Strike line about oh, one no. year later, hey guys, let's go ahead and make the Elite 2.0 line so kids will literally have to buy their blasters if they break literally like one million times. Yay, baby! And then, like some some viewers at home that are watching. No, here's the, here's, the even, like, yes, here's the even funnier one. Here's the even funnier one. No, no, wait. Here's the funnier one. All right. That was terrible. Once upon a time, Supervisor had a great idea. It's her! Get in here, I want to talk to you about something. What is it, Supervisor? What can I help you with today? Is it because you want to show off your brand new blaster that isn't going to be very good? Well, yes, but actually no. I need your help making a new series. Oh no, Supervisor, not again. Every time you make a new series, it's always worse than all the other ones you've made. No, 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 you don't understand the significance here. We are going to promote how cheap our blasters are. We're going to sell them for a bargain and give them a, a bargain of the blaster. Do, do, do you see what you mean? You're going to be paying $5 for $1 worth of plastic, and, and that's that's what we're going to do. We're still going to charge Let's you the same the amount of money. Thing in the world. No, but here's the thing, here's the thing. Uh, I mean, okay, Supervisor, I guess we could do that, but but how is that going to fare? No, 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 it'll work, I promise, I promise. Two years later, hey, intern, you remember that thing that we did two years ago where we made really cheap blasters and they were really bad? Who oh, knew, no, Supervisor, what idea are you planning? Why don't we do it again? Oh, oh, I guess we could, but what do you want to change about it? No. Why don't we do it again? And then that's when all the blue Alpha Strike Blasters came out. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Had a little cutout for a sec. That was weird. <laughs> Please do not cut out on the stream. <laughs> Bro, if they freaking lag, then fuck If the yeah, stream so. dies, then it's just the close the stream. It doesn't really matter. Lag, if the stream dies on your end, then just click out of it so that you can have better internet. This is just, like, to be a bit more entertaining. So it's yeah. not just two plebs complaining about Supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, like, I mean, I, I've been wanting to, like, ever since I saw you do your first podcast, I was like, man, I want to do stuff like this. Guess what? I'm finally freaking here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. finally here. There is finally one thing here. that... I want to really quickly go over, but just go over it a little bit with you, yeah. because if any, if I'm gonna go over it with anybody, I want to go over it with you because you are the one who got me back into YouTube in the first place. Wait, what? I did? Yeah, don't you remember? It was because of your comment oh. that I started posting again. I I remember. I want to I want to share a little story real quick. I remember on July of 2020. Uh, what was it? 2022. I like saw your channel. It was only at like 19 subscribers, and it's been stuck there for so long. And I remember when I gave you so much motivation, and like just wanted to just keep keep on get you to keep on doing videos. And then when I saw you like just grow so fast over the past couple of months, I'm like, yeah, this guy's gonna get on a whole another level thanks to me. Yep. Like I love giving people 
motivation. Like people who have such low subscriber counts, I want to try to get them to like, I did not the not the high sub count, but you know like, be, like very good, like way better than they done. Because there's this one channel that like I've checked and I'm so happy I found it. It only has like one subscriber, and it's me. And he usually just does like. You know, Geometry Dash con content, he even completed an Extreme Demon. And guess what? He only, he has no subscribers, and he got, he completed a very uh, hard level. And guess what? He did not really get any support, except for me. So yeah, I, I love to give, pe I love to give small channels motivation. That's good. That's a good thing to do. Because a lot of people get discouraged from doing YouTube. People who get this good from getting YouTube should not have to deal with that. stuff like that. Like I, I just, I just wish people would not get so discouraged. Well, there's not much that you can do about it other than just keep motivating people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep motivating, man. Good. By the way, guys who are wa guys who are watching this, everybody who's watching this, um, yeah, just basically I'm the one who motivated Tesla's channel. Yeah. Which is so which is super good. Like I, I, I just feel so proud of myself and proud that I got to motivate you. Well, you shouldn't feel too proud of yourself because then that creates oh, yeah. a, another problem. <laughs> but Frick. you shouldn't I, I you gotta, also I, shouldn't I you also shouldn't that. discourage yourself. I gotta freaking remember that, you know, not to be too uh what what's the word? Not to be too uh too freaking uh, like braggy about you know what I've done. Yeah, uh, you should, I feel like you should always be humble. I'm like, I'm doing that. You should always stay as humble as you can, but at the same time, I mean, there's nothing wrong with giving yourself a pat on the back every once in a while. Um, I did want to talk to you about something and I just though. Gave myself a pat. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to talk to you about something that. Yeah. Um, so um. Uh, how would you feel about a Tessera's Nerf Room movie? Uh, do I even? Oh um, wait, wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. I have to think about it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be very good. When I was like, uh, I was not like that in the bad way. I was just like, oh uh, yeah, this can be awesome. Yeah. Right. Right. Um. The. Uh, Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, that, that's gonna be that's gonna be a uh, that's gonna be a great movie. Well, I'm kind of trying to put one together, and I'm not sure how. I'm not sure when it's going to happen, but I do have an idea for a way that I could make that a thing. And I don't mean just like a channel movie. I mean like an actual production based on the you... characters that I have. Wait, an actual real production live freaking movie based off a of... yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to it. Let's go. And... I'm down. For... <laughs> By the way, um, I just got yelled at my dad, you know, for being too loud, man. What the? Like, I hate yeah. Oh, I was, was kind of, you know, just talking in my normal voice, but I did not really realize how freaking loud and excited I was being, so I yeah, mean, I get it. You weren't I even yelling that much, though. So. I don't know. The thing is that, like, I, I, like, talk in my normal voice, and then, like, I just kind of get, you know, yelled at, and I'm like, man, I don't realize it, but I'm just talking in my normal voice, but I just gotta, just gotta get quieter, you know? Yeah. I suppose my Minecraft just freezed. That was weird. My, um, my pedal pass. What the? Um, but yeah, I have an idea. I'll tell you more about it after the podcast, but I don't want to give too many spoilers away right now, and the podcast is only just getting started. <laughs> it is just getting started, because, you know, we could do some more blabbering about freaking nerve talking about, you know, just whatever. This is going to be a great podcast. Blabbering about nerve. I mean, we're about 15 minutes in, and... Oh. I think we could go for about 40 to 45 minutes like the other podcasts. Nice. I would nice. like to ask. I would like to ask. If there yeah. was, if you had to choose five blasters 
that you don't have that you've always wanted and you could have these five blasters or all the blasters that you'd have right now not 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 both one or the other either five blasters of your choosing none of which you have or your entire collection now which uh, five blasters would you choose like the like the top five best blasters that i'm just like i want to get now um one of them is the x shot chaos orbit oh like the thing about the orbit is that like it's a shotgun but it's super good it uses rival round you can load from the back it fires really good you can get it multiple colors it looks amazing comes with sticker decals it's better than the atlas better than the hypno and better than most of all the rival shotgun is it the best rival shotgun ever no but it is very good no <laughs> no i like that <laughs> um, uh, have you heard that before that you still have four that, that, blasters that, 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 to list. That, that, and then, yeah. What else blaster? What else? Um, uh, what else? Uh, it's hard. Uh, which one? The Deutsche Zone Vulcan. Wait. Wait. Did I just say? Dark Zone um, Vulcanator. Um. That no. The Deutsche Zone Max Dictator. The Vulcanator is good, but the Dictator is much freaking better. Ah, the Dictator. <laughs> I mean, better. on that note, you could just say the Dart Zone Pro 3 because that is the kind of the best of both worlds. Yeah, I want to go, yeah. Um, Dart Zone Day 2, Dart Zone Pro 3, X-Shot, um, Orbit, uh, what else? Two blasters oh, left. Yes. Um, the Mega Centurion. You guys might be like, oh, the Mega Centurion is so garbage, what the fuck would you buy it? But oh, yeah, it's the so Mega Centurion. Uh, Tesla's new film just literally like a couple days ago he just got me into wanting to buy a mega centurion i mean i kind of just based i kind of just told you the facts yeah that the, the, like i was thinking the mega centurion was bad because you know like i did reviews but then like 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 basically a couple days ago on discord tesla was talking to me about talking to me about like you know i shouldn't like Go just if you like a blaster, but a lot of people like a lot of reviews are just saying it's bad. You don't have to go by the opinion. Just yeah, do your own basically opinion. just like don't you don't have to care about what everybody else thinks. It's just your so, opinion. I'm so happy you explained to me about that. Like say the motor strike. I love the motor strike, but I just played it low on the list because of other people. I was afraid you can disagree with me. But you know what? Fuck them because I like the motor strike. It's I like, can put it on the list as I want. If you like, like the I'm moto strike, then say that you like the moto strike. I mean, I mean, yeah, you don't have lot, to change your strike. opinion to please everybody else. You can like I have a lot of whatever blaster you want. I have a lot of fun with the moto strike. And honestly, I, it, from, honestly, like it is in my top five mega list. I, I just didn't want to put it in there because I was like, you know, I was like, eh, I'm not good. I think not you should sure. redo your mega list. And you should the go purely based off of your is, opinion. So you think I should change my uh, my opinions on the mega list? It's like thinking of like the mega list. I like the mega list. I think it's fine because you know like it's subjective. But objectively, I did a terrible job at it. Subjectively, like no, you those top five, those are my favorites. You no, know? here's like, the thing. You did that. You did your list based off of. You did it based kind of off of subjectively, but like as if the entire nerf community was right in your face judging you for every decision you made so you didn't want to make them upset. And <laughs> I mean, I, if you can imagine like 500,000 freaking people looking at you like this while you're doing your video. <laughs> That looked be like, oh, what the hell? By the way, Bruh, if anybody's wondering what my avatar it. is, it's a bug soldier guy. He's a character that I made. <laughs> a lot of people are going to be like, oh, your list is garbage, but what are you saying? Change your list right now, boy. What are you doing, but Your list is so... <laughs> yeah. I know. 
<laughs> but like, I think you should redo your list, but be completely honest with yourself because it did seem like you weren't when honest you without all of your opinions. Yeah, I, I'd say. What are you say, trying to help with that? Huh? What were you saying? I said, well, I said that my avatar is a bug soldier guy, and then I said, I think you should redo your mega list, but be completely honest with yourself and like That's put the. Put the moto strike on there if you want. Don't worry about what everybody else is going to say. And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, that's what I did with my list. I just I I said what blasters I personally enjoyed the most, and I gave my reasons to justify my reasons for liking them. And um, anybody who is watching this video, um, uh, not video, a uh, stream. Well, it's, hey, not a, it's not an actual like, stream, it no. is just a video, but what? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought, like, this was actually, like, live on your channel. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Um, if any of you are watching this video, and if you guys are, you know, like, a very dead, you're probably gonna, you know, get just too much. Don't worry about that. Just, if you like the blaster that a lot of people don't like, you just, you know, put it up on your, like, you know, if you like it and a lot of people don't like it, don't, like, be them. Yeah, and I should be 100% real with you. People are going to judge you based off of your opinion. But that is the truth like, with like, any community you join. It's not and, just and, exclusive to the nerf community. Yeah. And so you just have to work through it and stay true to yourself. And yeah. Not worry if about you it. Like whatever, if you like whatever you like that a lot of people do not like, you can still explain why. Yeah. We have veered away from the topic, though. You still have two blasters to choose. Oh okay. god! Uh, oh no! You chose uh, you chose the Mega uh, Centurion. You you only have one left to choose. Uh, wait, 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 wait a second. This is the. Uh, let me think. Let me think. What's the one? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! No, replace the Centurion with the rival Nemesis. Wait. Nemesis or Prometheus? Which one? <laughs> I, okay. Nemesis? Wait. Pro, uh, replace this interior Hang with on. the... Pause, the pause, 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 pause. <laughs> Let me explain the difference between the Prometheus and the I Nemesis. I know what the difference is. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, the Prometheus shoots okay. faster. No, 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 wait, wait. Wait, the, wait I'm not done. No. The Prometheus shoots faster and is bigger... But you have to hold it in a weird way. The Nemesis is a bit slower and ha only has half the capacity, but you can hold it traditionally, which means that you can aim so much better with it and you can handle it a lot easier. And it's just got a way better grip and way better ergonomics. It's just, yeah. Uh, remember what I said about um, the uh, X Shot Orbit? Yeah. yeah. That was very good. You know what? Replace the X Shot Orbit with the Nemesis. Do number two with the Prometheus and number one with the Percy's. Oh, uh, number one all, with the Percy's. Put, put, just put all the three hopper, just put all the rival hopper fed big full auto machine gun blasters out there. Why not? Because, you know, oh, they're all very freaking good and I feel like they're all deserve to be on the spot. Yeah. And no, this is not in order like for me. This is just, you know. Yeah, definitely. If it was in order, number one would actually be the Prometheus. Number two would be the Percy's. Number three would be the Nemesis. Number four would be the Dictator. Number wait. Uh, what? You also had the Pro yeah. Three and the Dictator. Oh yeah, I was about to be like, I I I know I did the Dictator and the Dictator. What was the other one? Yeah, the Mark Three. Uh, number four would be the Mark Three. Number five would be the freaking Dictator. Now, Cause you know what? I think it's only fair for me to do my take, but that's really hard because I love my collection. <laughs> it's like, I, it's like imagine trading your whole collection for five blasters and that's it. Wait, you were talking? Oh, I did not. Okay, so, so some of the parts I cut off, uh, some of the parts I we were talking cut off with. But wait, so trading all five? So trading your whole collection for five? If you had to. And okay, some okay, I did not really catch the part. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and change that because <laughs> I thought he was talking about like adding but 
Okay. Okay, I might we can do it where it's just adding. We can do it where it's just adding. I thought it would be more challenging to make it like uh like a, if you had to choose your collection or five blasters, which oh, I, I thought you were talking about adding, but trading nah the list completely changed. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna think about like what blasters I would do for trading. Like, uh, I'm gonna five. list my five blasters while you're thinking about that. Um oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's so difficult. Nerf has so many really good blasters, but at the same time, they have some really bad the fuse ones. fire. Huh? The fuse fire. I watched Walcom S7 review on the fuse fire a couple, uh, like an hour ago. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh it's so yeah, it's like the it's like the proton, but it has the storage in the front yeah. and the illuminated I, discs. I never even knew that the fuse fire was a thing until I watched that, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that might actually like, that's not gonna be on my top five, but man, that's definitely one I want to pick up. The fuse fire is a cool one. Now, I'm gonna get on a similar yeah. note. I have found my number five blaster, which is. Kind of similar to the fuse fire, the first blaster that I would uh, that I would put on the list of things to trade my collection for is the Ravonix 360. Um, arguably the best vortex blaster ever made. It is absolute insanity with the way the mechanism works, and it is such an innovative design has never been seen again. It works effectively. It looks comfortable. It's a good size. It's got a great capacity. There's there's nothing wrong with it. It's just it's it's amazing. It's an amazing blaster from what I've seen, and I would I would um, trade that I would trade my collection for a Revonix 360 and four other ones. The second one would be the Sledgefire, under the impression that I had a lot of shells for it. You still there? Yeah, I'm just eating pizza rolls. Oh. Uh, because the sledge fire, I mean, you know how long I have been trying to get a sledge fire. You know exactly how long I've been trying to get a sledge fire for, and the amount of pain and suffering that I have gone through trying, trying to get a sledge fire, and failing at getting a sledge fire. So, <laughs> I got a sledge fire, but he broke. Uh, I could probably fix it. But, yeah. No, the, the actual front break action piece broke. It's fricked up. I can 3D Real print a bad. new one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could. I, I could 3D print I a new piece it. and then just uh, insert it. I don't have it right now. Um, uh, at number so, three, my number three blaster would be the Icon Stampede. That would... Uh, I already got one. Oh, wait. I don't think... Oh, man, I'm trying to think. Um, is this like only like Hasbro or Deutschland or it can be like any company of any like No, thing it can because... be any company. It can be any company. I'm just being honest. I got I got one of them. I thought about one of them. The Colonel Wasp Firefly. The Colonel oh, Wasp. Yeah. Wait, let me see if I can freaking shell ejecting shotgun. Can I can I find Take it? the 50 cow ball. Balls. 50 cal foam balls. Uh, let me see if I can find this. Either the corner, corner wasp firefly or oh. the split thunder. The, it's, it's a tie between the corner wasp firefly or the spring thunder. I don't know. Because they're both very good. The thing is that, like, I want to say the spring thunder because it looks a lot more traditional, which I like. Gives a more shotgun aesthetic, and you know you still have the shell ejecting, you know all that stuff. Yeah. But with the Colonel Wasp Firefly, you can do so much more with it, like make it more mag fed, hold more capacity. Like the I mean, people are using the Colonel Wasp more than the Spring Thunder. Here's the thing. Uh, here's something to note as well. The Spring Thunder is really cool because it has all the different kinds of shells that you can put in. Um. You could really 3D print going. shells for the Galar Horn to make it shoot anything except for Demolisher rockets. So Wait, take, what the fuck? Take your pick. 
So yeah. Um, I'm, th I'm trying to think still for my list. It's actually really hard because I have to be able to justify trading my whole collection for five blasters. Five. That's it. Really so good. I would do... Oh my gosh. I would do the um, the Sledgefire, the Ravonix 360, um, maybe, maybe an original Titan AS-1 with the rocket and just like open it and immediately put a big beefy air tank in it. Um, maybe though. I don't know. It, it, it comes down to whether or not it has the rocket and whether or not I'd be able to open it and put a really big air tank in it. Um, I'm not going to count that one for right now though. I that got is... some, I got some picks. I'm what? not going to list them on that yet. Is it okay if I say something? Yeah. The Spring Thunder in the Game Face Trial. Hmm. Now, the thing is, I'm trying to pick blasters that, like, like five of them are all very unique and different, you know? Like, some of them have, you know, similar features, but I'm just trying to, you know, like, Colonel Wasp Firefighters, a shell ejecting shotgun, uh, Game Face Trines, awesome, Mag Fed, Pump Action, Competitive, Sword Dark Blaster, they hit so freaking hard, it has good tactical potential. I don't under- I still don't understand what the thing is with the game face trial. There's a thing with it. I, like, like, everybody is obsessed with it. And I, I have yet the to figure out- good. Like, like, not, like, you know, the best thing ever. No, I, I know that it's good. I know that it's good. But what is the difference between it and something like a worker harrier? Or something like the, the max dictator? Because, theoretically, it's the exact same thing as the Max Dictator, but it it, but it's, it uses a vertical magazine instead of the horizontal magazine. I think I'd actually, like, the Dirt Zone Dictator is a great comparison, but I think I'd actually compare it maybe to something like a Dirt Zone Pro, maybe? Maybe, I don't know. I very I mean, much plan on getting a Game Face Tryon. I'm, I'm, I'm filming. I'm back to Max Fat Blaster. Like, the thing about it is, there are so many mag-fed, pump-action, magazine-fed, competitive blasters from so many companies that, like, I'm, I, it's so hard to catch up. Like, I'm not, you know, trying to buy all of them, I'm just, you know, trying to see all the ones, you know, know all the features. It's very hard to catch up on all of that. Yeah. Like, look at the one here, the Game Face Tryon, those are probably more, those are Pro, Nexus Pro, you know, Mark 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 you know, all that stuff. Um, but as I was saying, as I was saying a moment ago, as I was saying a moment ago, though, I very much plan on getting a game face Tron, even if I don't end up using it a hundred percent of the time. I I need to know what the thing is with it. I have to know what the thing is with it that that has everybody so obsessed with it. My next pick would be. The new Rebel Pussies with the Dirt Zone Hot uh, Frick, um, Out of Dirt's, uh, freaking, what is it called? Uh, Out of Dirt's Hopper Extension, uh, Hopper Fed Extension. What is it called? Bro, why it's just I a Hopper thinking? Extension, it's just a Hopper Extension. Uh, Hopper Extension. Um, uh, new Rebel Pussies with the Out of Dirt's Hopper Extension, that's it. Because the thing is, you're gonna get a very fast fire rate, has very good capacity, you know, kind of similar to the freaking Prometheus. Yeah. Looks great. Better ergonomics in the Prometheus. A lot smaller. Like it's it's a it's either a tie between the Pussies with the hot, out of dark hopper fed extension, or the Prometheus stock. Because the Prometheus stock is very good. You know, fast fire rate, full auto with a very good capacity. But like it's a lot more fun, kind of like more Rambo. It's a lot more bigger and like more unwieldy. But with the pussy, you get, you know, same kind of close capacity, but it's a lot, you know, tighter, compact. Yeah. But I'm you don't, you know, feel nearly as, you know, 
Say hello to my little friend, you know, carrying a freaking big heavy juggernaut looking thing. Yeah. I have put my list like, it's together. It's a pie. It's a, it's... Well, that's interesting. I've put my whole list together for the five blasters that I would trade my collection for. Huh. So, um, one, what the hell was it called? Oh my gosh, I already forgot. One, the Ravonix 360. What the Two, heck? the Sledgefire. Three, the Dart Zone Pro 3. Four, the Rail Cleaner. Uh, which is a really obscure one. And five, the Out of Darts Jupiter with the Proton Pack that I still haven't finished making in the basement. Those yeah, five, I... those five I would trade my whole collection for right now. I trade my whole collection for a Game Face Tryon, Spring Thunder, Rival Percy's, Moto Blitz. Um... You already have a Moto Blitz. Oh, wait, frick. Wait, <laughs> these are blasters that I don't have. Okay. Um, what number four be? What would number four be? I, uh, guess, I guess the Nemesis, since that's the same thing. No. I'm only, I'm, I'm going to do the Percy's. Uh, look, I'm going to do the Percy's and Prometheus. And then I got one more. Uh, what would, what, what would the other one be? I want to make it a good one, like an absolute freaking, which, which one? Oh wait, the no Fortnite Pump SG, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the That's Pump SG is the greatest blaster in the world, it's just that pump nobody knows you that. You know, you know, it's so good because it's a single shot, breach loader blaster that takes one mega dose. It shoots all right, but like the thing is, it, it, I don't, it, who cares if it's bad? It's a very cool blaster that it's fun to use, at least it shoots pretty good, at least it shoots one dart, you know? Yeah, I'm look like, at this, look at this. Put the eye on fire. Wait, look. Look at my stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, let me turn it off. <laughs> this is paradise. <laughs> okay, continue. Beat me. Continue. Oh, God. How many can I put before my game lags into a prison? Everybody run! <laughs> this is the best thing I've seen all day. This is Tessera's <laughs> Nerf Room thing. content. Summed up. <laughs> All I can hear are chickens clucking. <laughs> Round three. Oh my. <laughs> I don't even remember what we were talking about. Oh my god. Oh we my just god. add to the pile. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god. Alright, ready? Here we go. Keep it going on. Keep it going on. Alright. All right. Like, you know, <laughs> Alrighty, so while that unfolds oh in the Oh my god. It's getting really slow! <laughs> oh my gosh! It says it summoned a new chicken. Uh, next thing you're gonna do after summoning all those million chickens is summon a huge chicken that's literally gonna freaking destroy the entire freaking uh, map. Whatever. Oh really. my goodness. Alright, watch this. 
Oh! Oh my! Oh, oh no, dude! What did I do? Oh, it's so slow! Oh no! Wait, 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 wait! If I go over here, I didn't hear. Oh! You're not. You're gone. Look! What? What the wait. frick? Let's see how many I can pick up. Oh, oh my gosh! It my. Just okay, <laughs> list list your list your last couple picks. Um, there was one more. Yeah. Um. List your last the couple of picks. Man, the Nerf Limited Mandalorian Ebon Base Pulse freaking piece of garbage junk crap thingy. Ah, yes. And that's the kidding. best blaster in the world. <laughs> no, it's the best blaster Wait, in the world. You want to know what's the best blaster in the world, actually? What? Um, I'm trying to think. What, what is actually the worst freaking blaster? <laughs> you said I'm, best and now you say I'm, word. No, I'm just kidding. The worst blaster in the world is, I'm pretty sure it is the Nerf Mega Roto Fury, and the best blaster in the world is either the Nerf Fortnite Pump SG, oh wait, the uh, Nerf Mandalorian Limited Blaster, okay, yeah. I was correct, it, it, it's the best blaster ever. That hurts so much it's to so listen good. to. I, I love the Mandalorian Blaster so much, it's so good. I, I love it. Please buy one. Like, I, 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 your one hundred twenty dollars is not gonna be wasted. Oh no, they I actually cut the price in half on that thing on Amazon. They made an orange one, which is literally freaking better, actually, surprisingly. No, you don't understand. They cut the price in half on the limited one on Amazon. You oh. can get it for sixty-five dollars. Hey. Because literally oh nobody was buying the limited version for a hundred and twenty. But but guys, actually, like if you, if you guys are actually freaking falling for this, like if if, if anybody if anybody you guys don't you idiots, me, how could you possibly you think that he's telling the truth? So, so, huh? I just called all of the viewers idiots for believing you. The th the thing is that like. There's some people on my channel who, like, don't even know, like, what the heck I'm talking about, like, if it's wood mining or anything. That's uh, why, I, you know, I tell people that, like, if you don't know what it is, actually don't, you know, like, buy it. If you guys are just freaking confused, like, what the frick am I talking about? I mean, my videos okay, are 90% but... satirical, so people already know not to take anything I ever say ever seriously for any reason. You guys want to know what the top five best blasters in the world are? Yeah, let's One, hear it. the Nerf Mandalorian Ambit Base Pulse Limited Blaster. Woo! Two, the Nerf Fortnite Pump SG. Woo! Three, the Nerf Mega Lightning Bow. Woo! Four, the Nerf Mega Double Beast. Woo! Five, the Nerf Modulus Ion Fire. Woo! Actually, the Ion Fire is not that bad. No, okay, um, uh, five, uh, what could be number five? Oh, uh, the Modulus Battle Scout, the Modulus Battle Scout. Oh, yeah, no, 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 oh, yeah, the, the Modulus, uh, okay, I was thinking of Gloucester, yeah. But, yeah, the, the Mandalorian Blaster is so good, please buy it. Look at this. Red Tesla, please buy it, please buy it, it's so good, I love it. There we go, perfection. Oh, yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Look at this, my entire inventory is a checkerboard of 64 chickens and feathers. <laughs> oh my god, what do you think is the worst blaster in the world? Um, ah crap, uh, the worst blaster in the whole world? Are you talking like seriously or being satirical? Being joke, joking around. Okay, um... The worst blaster in the entire world, uh, slash, hang on. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we don't have the cash, man. Uh, the worst blaster in the entire world has to be the Worker Phoenix 2.0. It's so bad with its smooth <laughs> rate of fire, 
wonderful grip, extendable stock, compact design, and an intense, uh, intense FPS count. It's just, it's, it's pointless. Why would anybody get it? The best blaster um, you could possibly buy ever for any reason is the Alpha Strike Mantis. Everybody knows I'll, that. I'll make Minecraft spawn like literally 3,000 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Once upon a time, we were in Minecraft and literally we had a freaking dick in apocalypse that literally went that. <laughs> That's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Like, I'm not joking, it's so satisfying. 1,105! <laughs> Make, wait, make it to one million. I don't think my computer can handle that much. <laughs> hey, but the worst blaster in the world, in my opinion, I think it is... Oh, what is the worst blaster in the world? What is it? Um... Uh... Uh, the nerf, the nerf level Prometheus, it's so bad. Yeah. It's terrible. It's, it's freaking garbage, man. Do not buy it. $200 yeah. freaking waste of money. Absolute waste. <laughs> waste of money. Waste of time. Waste of money. Waste of time. Waste of plus and waste of. Yeah. Nobody should ever get a, a Prometheus. Uh, in all real talk, what would you say is the worst nerf blaster like, ever released? Being dead serious? Yeah. Uh, like, there is the, uh, freaking Mandalorian Amber Face Pulse Rifle. You think that's the worst blaster they've ever come out with? I mean, one of, at least. I don't know, I, I it's so hard to pick. What is the worst blaster? Like the thing is, some blasters have things good about them, but I'm I'm trying to think of a blaster that has nothing good about it. Oh wait, there is one. Yeah. I'm not gonna say the name. I'm just gonna give you a hint. It's a video you made on the very first day of April. <laughs> it's the video you made on the April. Mantis. Yeah. <laughs> There is so much wrong with that thing. I can't even make jokes about it. I really can't. It's so bad. The joke was how long it took me to clean up all the darts. That was literally the best ending. It's It was so satisfying. <laughs> oh, I love that ending. Oh. Um, in my opinion, uh, that is definitely the worst blaster. The best blaster they've ever come out with very debatable I wouldn't say the infinite is the objective best because the infinite is extremely fun but it has quite a few issues with it specifically the price the fact that it uses D batteries and this annoying magazine lock which I didn't go over in my review and I'm probably going to re-review uh, that wait. thing to go uh, over that fun? Well, fun? I'm going to try to you know like I don't tell me yet I want to try to like, you know, trying to, like, guess what it is with some hints. Alright, after that, I'm gonna end the video, because we're approaching 50 minutes. Oh, wait. Is it's... it a Hasbro Nerf Blaster? Yes. Well, it's the best uh, Nerf Blaster. Is it a Bible Blaster? Yes. Wait. No. It isn't. Um. Uh, what kind of, what kind of Nerf line is it at? Uh, it shoots regular elites. Um, the infamous. I don't I'd think like that is the objective best nerf blaster. I mean, this one is I... a hot take. A very hot take, because nobody really remembers this thing at all. The... But in my opinion... The of fire. Nope. Um, stampede? Nah. No. In my opinion, I think the Rampage is the best blaster that they've <laughs> ever made. It takes 60 batteries for it? Yeah, the, the Infinite takes D batteries. But I think the Rampage oh. is the best blaster. 
And I have reasons. I have reasons for saying that. Um, basically, for the same reason that I love Sorry. the Max Dictator, incredibly smooth, incredibly reliable, incredibly comfortable, very effortless to use. It has a good size. It's efficient. It looks very cool. It's about yeah. as smooth as the uh, the Alpha Trooper, but it has a way better foregrip than the Alpha Trooper. My favorite Elite Blaster so far is the Nerf Elite Alpha Trooper. Uh, wait, no, screw that. This is the weapon strike. My yeah. Alpha Trooper's second. But yeah, I, I actually really truly believe the Rampage is the best Elite Blaster they've ever made. Or the uh, the best blaster period they've ever made is the Rampage. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, it could be? I'm not sure. I, I gotta... I don't know. But gotta with that said, I don't have a Rampage. I used one once. It was a very long time ago. It was before I had my collection, but I never forgot how fun that thing was to use. I am, am definitely going to get a Rampage in the future, but I don't know. I want Rampage. Yeah, we'll go over the Rampage another day. I'm going to cut the video and then go a bit more over the uh, Tessera's Nerf Room movie that I uh, uh, teased uh, earlier. Y'all have a great one. Right. I, was, I was very crazy during this stream, so yeah, so I was a little crazy. <laughs> it's that okay. was fun. Alright, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, and comment down below what do you think is the best blaster they've ever come out with. And definitely and subscribe to Kingston. Go sub to Kingston, he'll be in the description, so go check him out. And I'll see y'all yeah. next time. Bye! Yeah. I got that energy popping hot. Let's get it going. I want to stop blood. recording.